All right, folks, welcome back. Game number three for the next Iron Chef currently underway. Spawning here in the bottom right corner of the map, he's going to be our defender, our champion, Iron Chef Terran Xenocider. The middle left as the red Protoss, it's Hunter. What is Xenocider going to try and say? On your passer? I feel like if I, it, this is like a setup for a bad joke, like, okay, he says hello and then fuck you, or, you know, <laughs> something like that. He didn't even spell it right. <laughs> oh. Unicider, you so cute. See, I told you, he's got something holstered for the follow-up. <laughs> I have no idea what he says, but, um, okay, during the lobby, a bit of fun banter. Hunter saying, Xenocider, can you please lose? I want $100, please. And uh, that is the prize pool for this best of seven. $100 goes to the winner, $50 to the loser. Xenocider is, um, you know, th there's no distinct advantage for him winning. He's going to be invited back every single week as our Terran defender. But, uh, of course, for him, a little bit more money is always nice, too. Well, uh, it is Kalina, so... Reaper opener is definitely going to be really good. Uh, it looks like it's not going to be a two racks, though. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, I was not expecting that. Um, if if you guys have ever seen Xenocider, I met him at MLG Anaheim uh, for all of like five minutes when we were in, I think it was like Desro's hotel room. Xenocider is like a small dude. What? What? Uh, I mean, I don't, uh, I love big woman. Good. Um, I love just woman. Maybe zombie. Wait a minute. I missed that. <laughs> ah, baby. Sounds like someone's <laughs> got a crush on zombie girl. About me. I don't want to be like conceited and be like, yeah, when people talk about zombies, I mean, they're like, they're really beautiful, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not helping at all. Oh, God. <clears throat> he says good. There you go. He'll turn in the prize money in exchange for your hair hand, maiden. <laughs> well, this is just, uh... Oh, this is like when you go oh. into, like, a Reddit thread, you know, and it's, like, nothing at all about you, and they bring you up anyways, and you're like, what? Ha! Huh? What was it even in this? <laughs> well, uh, the Reaper gonna come across the map, and Hunter's gonna take a little bit of damage from this, but not much. The Mothership Core's on a pretty decent timing. Uh, begging quite nicely to attack me. Uh, so Zeno started, we haven't really got to talk a lot of his tactics, but one of the things I really like out of Zeno, and we've still seen him do it from time to time, it's definitely not a regular strategy per se, but uh, he's really, he's one of the few Terran players I've seen to make it work where you push for that, you know, that natural photon overcharge, or you go for drops simultaneously, you build a bunker in the natural. I mean, I... I, I don't see a lot of people do this other than him, and he's made it work in the past for go for Starcrafts, like in leagues, and all this other junk. So, I'm excited to see how he plans to play this one out. But with this being Catalina, truth be told, I mean, it's probably just gonna come down to drops, good control. I mean, when Xenocider turns his like on switch to on, we see him drop like crazy. He plays like a Korean. He can be all over the map, all at the same time. Yeah, which so is why I was a little surprised to see him not open up the Woodbine drop. Seems to be uh, kind of the choice build <clears throat> too but i guess he's also got to consider that hunter is cheesy you know he does small ins blink all ins for instance on catalina <laughs> and three rocks for that is very helpful now we do have a hidden toilet council and the probe's still there i'm gonna go ahead and call a dark shrine it would definitely be the probably the last thing xenosar is thinking about as he scouts through the base i mean he's gotta be wondering wait a minute you've got two gases there's no robo there's no Stargate, there's no Twilight Council, it's a proxy something. And because an Oracle hasn't hit yet, he might be able to process of elimination it down to Dark Templar just blindly. Yeah. I mean, I did, again, talk a little bit while we're getting the lobby up, and he pretty much said, like, he should have expected the two-gate the, the two gate proxy, like, you know, he should have known better and all this. So, the thing is, I know Zeno is smart. He knows how to kind of guess what's going on, but, oh, he's going to actually see this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Awkward. Or maybe not. Are you serious? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sees the Twilight Council. Sees the Dark Shrine as well. Oh, my heart was palpitating. If he had actually walked right past that, <laughs> so many mads would have been had. Oh, well, you know, even if he hadn't seen it, I would have just, I would have really hoped Xenocider puts down like a precautionary chart anyways, but it looks like he wasn't going to. Now, if there's on the engineering bay, it will be up in time. And, uh, you know, even... I would say just go ahead and put turrets everywhere, 
like 300 minerals is nice for peace of mind. So not just at the front, but one in the main and the natural. <laughs> is that a Korean thing? Or do you think he's just like, you know, I call things like stupid names too. And he's just doing that. Uh, Where's Ripper? Well, yeah, it's like, almost like phonetically trying to say Reaper uh, with an accent. Exactly, because like I in um, in Korean is pronounced like E, so it does sound like Reaper to him when he spells it like that. So. <laughs> yeah, Anyways. he knows. He's fully aware. <laughs> 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 I trust you. Please don't. How sick would this be though if he did this after canceling the Dark Shrine? Like actual cancel on the Dark Shrine and didn't go Dark Temple? That'd be so sick. But Demonstrator is ready for this. Turret at the front, bunkers down. This should not do any damage. Well, here's why I wanted him to put something in the main and the natural as well. Like, in the mineral line. is because a War Prism could very well come out. If it wasn't a build that paired it up immediately, it's not out of the question of Cheesier Protosses to add that oh. on later. Wonderful snipe. <laughs> Solid snake, like, alert, like, brrr. All right, well, these guys are horrible at typing while playing. We're learning this much as time goes on. Uh, we did the third Nexus come down pretty quick out of Hunter, but I guess what's this follow-up to this? You know, the Dark Shrine kind of failed. Okay, maybe one gets through, but there's still a full bunker bag at home. I I just can't imagine this doing anything monumental. This War Prism's a big scout for Xenosiren, though, because while he does have the natural covered, he doesn't have the main safe. He doesn't even have a turret in the mineral line, so hopefully he can get something done soon. He's going to go for this big attack, but, you know, if he's burning scans over here, he can't burn scans back at home. Uh, usually this this will win out. Oh this push God. is like just too hard to deal with. Yeah, uh, kill, the, kill the Nexus. He's just gonna take down that boat on overcharge. Who cares? <laughs> no. Well, you know, there you go. That's one way to not have to deal with it. Sees the Dark Templar, scans it immediately. Sometimes those get lost in battle, but not for Xenocider. Probe's getting absolutely massacred. And on the right side of the map, that War Prism's got nothing inside of it. No Warp Ins, no nothing. Xenocider does some massive damage, but I don't believe he knows about the third. So he may think he's much further ahead than he really is. Even if he doesn't, I don't think it's enough. Uh, that is a really big loss for someone trying transi to transition out of a failed opener. Now, Ladici's gonna try and do some damage here. Xenocider was a little late on getting that turret up, but he has a scan ready to oh, go. Oh, no. Oh, Massacred. No. Doesn't. No! Oh! Two health! <laughs> okay, doesn't quite get it, but he's bought time for the turrets. He won't have to burn countless scans to deal with this. He has effectively shut this down. Metavacs are gonna come up and heal the units. But, man, that third Nexus, we'll see how much that carries Hunter here. Because he is trying to get to Colossus. He's got no tech going for him. Xenocider might win this through upgrades, maybe. But, you know, 1-1 one, one for a Terran player is not the same as having 1-1 one, one for Protoss. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a missile turret right there. Yeah. <laughs> awkward. Actually, can't kill it. That's super awkward. <laughs> maybe it's he so thought he did. He's such a big army that leaving units behind in this situation isn't that bad. Where, you know, if... Hunter had done everything correctly and actually gotten damage done, then leaving even like five marines can be the difference between breaking him and not breaking him. Here, I mean, what does Hunter have? This natural. An immortal, some zealots, some stalkers, no sentries to keep the uh, targeting away from the immortal. A colossus is going to pop out, but again, such a big army, they can target that one down too. Well, people are reporting more instances of lag, so I'm going to try to local record just for safety's sake. Because whatever's going on with Twitch today, we have no control over, boys. Do us a favor, there's a little wrench underneath the stream, a little spanner icon. Please click that and report video stutter. It goes a long way, trust me. But Miranda's going to move up to the top of the ramp. He sees there's a Dark Templar here when he scanned to see what the army was going to look like. He could probably spread and kill that Colossus if you really wanted to, but... Uh, the goal here is just to do as much damage while he simultaneously drops the main. And Hunter, I don't think he's got enough. He's not even going for the Immortal. Who cares? Takes the Colossus down. Immortal soon to follow. Ah, he's not going to get the Nexus, but he picks up. Goes towards the main where a lot of damage was already dealt. Probe count has plummeted. GG. Game goes to Xenocider. 2-1.